Have you ever lost one of these guys? Don't lie, you know you have. Now what if I told you you can make an endless supply of them, as well as other things for your workshop, studio, or even home goods? How you ask? Well, through the art of 3D printing. Today, we're shining the spotlight on the Creality K2 Plus, a 3D printer that promises to take your projects to new dimensions. With its spacious build area, cutting edge features, and reliability, this printer is a great innovation for makers and creators alike. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, this printer has some impressive features that can make it your next go-to machine. So let's dive in and explore what makes the K2 Plus a must-have for your workshop. But first, let's just print these caps so my team can get started using them. Let's talk about the key specifications that make the K2 stand out from the rest, and that's its generous build plate volume of 350 millimeter cube, allowing you to create larger models, which I'll demo later, or multiple smaller ones in a single print, like all these lens caps at once. The K2's components are housed in a rigid aluminum alloy exoskeleton with an X-axis rail that holds your extruder and operates the left to right movement and Y-axis on rods which operates front to back movement. These two axes utilize a timing belt system equipped with active belt tensioning that uses a pressure sensor to tighten the belts over time to maintain print quality and accuracy. The Z-axis is assisted by four linear rods and allow for carrying the print bed up and down which minimizes the possibilities of layer shifting. The unit comes with a 5mm magnetic flexible build plate, which makes peeling your print off much easier while holding up against deformation. So if you've made it this far in the video, you probably want to know a little bit more about the basics of 3D printing, or you really just want to know what the big build is going to be in this video. First you pick a design for a thing you want to magically be brought to physical life. Make sure your printer has filament in the color that you want to print, Send the STL file to the printer and then go on about your day while you wait for it to print. Because yes, sometimes these things can take a little while, but it's worth it. What makes the Creality K2 Plus combo stand out, however, is the speed and size of things it can print, but also the ability to print up to 16 different colors. With the Creality CFS, users are capable of loading four color rolls at a time. Once installed into the connector ports, this allows the CFS to communicate with the K2 using smart technology to manage the filaments. Each filament when loaded will feed through the tube system and calibrate to let you know that it has successfully loaded. The CFS when loaded creates an airtight seal to keep the filaments dry at a constant humidity which you can monitor on the display. Keeping your filament dry is a very important step that is sometimes overlooked as filaments exposed to moisture in the air will absorb and at times cause stringing and print failures. So how do you get 16 colors you ask? The K2 allows up to four CFS units to feed into the extruder system, which then feeds into the back of the unit. Now, a personal favorite component of the CFS is that when using Creality filament with RFID tags, the system will recognize the color, material, and amount in each roll. The CFS is really an intelligent system. All it requires is for you to place it properly. The K2 comes with the typical 0.4 millimeter nozzle, which can be quickly swapped for different sizes depending on your project's needs. The nozzle also curbs heat in order to effectively reduce clogging. The extruder uses an automated cutter when switching filaments or cutting off excess. Now, that excess filament, or what some of us refer to in the printing world as poop, is exported out of the back of the printer. Now, Creality could have provided a bin for this, but the real fun with 3D printing is creating your own solutions, and they know that. So, this is why we have this. One thing to note when you have a 3D printer, you get a lot of requests from friends and family. Hello? Hi, Joe. Hey, what's up, Laura? Um, so could you make me something? I'm doing a video about film, and I just need something in the studio to not make it look so flat. Is that something you could do? Uh, let me see what they got, and I'll get it started right now. Uh, OK, thanks. Got to run. I'm so busy. Uh, all right. Bye. All right, I guess we got to print something for Laura. Let's check out what Creality Cloud has and take a look. Creality Cloud is Creality's web sharing interface where you can find all different kinds of STL files that are pre-made and super quick and easy to download and print. You can connect using the Creality Cloud website or using the Creality Cloud app. When using your phone, you can scan the QR code on the touchscreen panel, which will connect you to the K2 unit for cloud printing, but note your K2 will still need to be connected to a Wi-Fi source to do this. After searching through Creality Cloud site, I was able to find this retro film lamp that will definitely fit the vibe that Lada is looking for. I was able to open and import this file using Creality Print, which is the desktop version, just because I wanted a little bit more control. From here, we're able to see the layout as well as the colors chosen for both plates, as this will be a two-part print. On the right side, you have your filters and your settings, 
This is where you'll add your supports for other prints. This one doesn't necessarily require it. Now it's time to slice the plate and start our print. This will upload the file and automatically start everything using the correct colors that you've chosen. And now we'll check back in on this in about two hours. Like I explained before, each file when sliced will give you an estimated time to be completed. But another great thing is that once you have downloaded these files to your K2+, Plus, they will stay loaded onto the unit. With the touchscreen panel, you can go into your folder tab right here and see all the prints that you have already downloaded and can reprint them at any time and in different colors. The touchscreen panel also gives you control of all the components within the K2, such as maintenance, calibration, manual movement of the extruder, and much more. Many of these features are also accessible using the Creality Cloud. So now that we have the pieces to our print, it's time to assemble. The great thing about many of the print designs on the cloud is that they're generally modular or assembled with glue. And those support pieces I mentioned earlier are generally super easy to snap off as the K2 compensates the structure in order to not damage your prints. It's best to have a few simple tools such as a scraper, cutter, or pliers to help remove those supports safely. The real fun part of 3D printing is taking all of your pieces and assembling them and even adding some extra elements like lights to make something cool and vibrant. So with speed, precision, and just a little bit of a creative mind, you too can utilize the Creality K2 Plus combo to create your own toys, tools, and display pieces. Honestly, if you can think it, you can create it. So let us know what amazing prints you've all been creating. Be sure to tag us on Instagram or any other socials. And if you want to learn more about our 3D printing, let us know in the comments below. I'm Joe with B&H, and we'll see you next time.